Good evening and welcome. We're here for round four of the 1958 Formula One Championship. Uh, it's at Shot on the Ring, a fast, long, flowing track. Six minute plus lap time so far. Nobody's broken into the five minutes. Um, uh, but some of the uh, some of the really fast people might do. But at the moment, I am <laughs> excuse me, I am one of those really fast people. I'm in the Van Wall and I am leading the practice uh, board at the moment. Um, but it's a long lap and I got a really good one and that's why I'm up front. It's easy to lose a lot of time. It's also easy to gain time at this track. Well, not easy, but it's possible to gain time when you find out what a good line is. Anyway, let's roll those intros and get on track, because the server is going over to Quali. Right, so we just got over to Quali, so let's go and say hello to everybody on the Discord, and then we'll leave them alone to concentrate on Quali. Hello, everybody on Discord. Um, I know Quali's just started uh, Stream is Live. Um, say hello if you've got a moment, and then I shall leave you alone, and uh, obviously have good luck in the qualifying. Get it. Hello. Thank you, Pascal and Maddie. Got a few people in chat. Uh, Barry's in chat, Alex is in chat, Yannick is in chat, Maddie and Pascal. Um, right, guys, I'll mute my mic. Best of luck with qualifying, and I'll come and probably chat to you at the end or in warp. Have fun. Look all. Right, we'll be able to hear them still in um, in. Uh, it's uh, years in the car. The qualifying. Screw it. In uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? In qualifying. Um, but they can't hear me I yakking away. That's like I'd mute my mic so as to not distract them. Yeah, I just feel that heavier car. It's a bit more stable. Oh yeah, totally. Let's go out for a couple of laps then. Deep breath, nice and easy, you've got this. Aging G27 is uh, being a little bit problematic. The button panel on the shifter is intermittent. And if we open it up and have a look at some of the solders, the might dry solders now. It's quite a few years old. Clear. So long circuit. This six minute plus lap time so far in qualifying, in, in practice rather. Track is fully rubbered up now. So, uh, on the first hairpin, can you actually cut across the cobblestone, or do you get a warning if you do that? I believe you can go over the cobblestone. I haven't actually tried it yet, um, but I um, believe you can. I'll try it now on my outlet. 10-4. Yep, that is good. You can take uh, up to the grass on the cobblestone in that um, first sharp right-hander um, without uh, an infraction occurring. Maddie, I'll let you buy. I'll let you buy. I just had a massive screen freeze. Oh, 
Maddie's got her mic and headphones booted, just so you know, uh, Pascal. She wouldn't have heard that. 10 4. Some space ahead of us, so hopefully we'll be able to uh, get a decent flying lap in once we get round the circuit. Kumar in a uh, get some Maserati. Thing is good in a straight line, we're not so good on twisty stuff. And closer towards the end of the lap. That's air wind. Back off and give ourselves some space. Fast. No, don't wound it on the law. Bugger. But I've got damage now. Yellow flag. I've got damage. Ah, wound it on my outlap. Lost focus there. We perfectionally, and that was that. again. These guys will be on fast lap now though. We do not want to pop out in front of them on. Be careful as you cross the blend line, there are cars at the pit exit. The caution flag is out. Of 
we go. I can't believe we pinned it on our outlap. He's not be too slow now. We might get three chance of that flying lap. We might only get two. Shame we couldn't have been there early in the lap. I knew as soon as I went into the corner, it's like you got in way too quick there. It was, and I know it's a corner that if you run a wide on, you are dead. And we were indeed dead. Go and gather it all together. We don't want to be in the midfield here. We're only going to get two flying laps, you know. Really important now that we do not bin it. Quick on our I'll have to give us the best chance of three flying laps, but I don't think we're going to do it. And the risk is that we catch up traffic ahead. We certainly are closing in. Nobody set a time yet. Be able to start setting a time soon, though. Because it didn't build up their outlap. Caution. Oh, up ahead. You cut the track. Oh, no! Watch out.
We're not even going to get a bloody lap in at this rate. He moved forward as I started to come past. We're nearly not going to get a lap at this rate. Right? We're only going to have one flying lap. Oh. Aaron's in the 557s. All clear. Go, go, go. Well, I make it count. We've only just got enough time to get round a lap and out lap. That driver just needed to stay still so I could sneak up the inside. Not sure who it was, but they moved forward. Need a time on the board now. So we can't afford to make a mistake on the out lap or the flying lap. Hello in chat if you are watching everybody. Five minutes remaining. It's not gonna be a quite intense quality now. Six laps night of shot and ring. I think that's about 40 minutes worth. He might bury in second place at the moment. Those lap times are very, very quick. the end of the flying lap. God forbid somebody comes out of the pits in front of me. They shouldn't do, and if they do, uh, we'll be very annoyed. It's impossible for them to get another flying lap in. Oh, 
be staying well out of the way of anybody who is on a potential flying lap. Two minutes left to cross that line. Which is where we came across the stranded car. Jim. This is where we binned it on our first out lap. It's a minute on the clock, winding up to start our flying lap. Get out of my way, everybody, please. Nobody come out of the pits. Seen that hot air balloon before?
Oh my god, the cut tracks. They're just so sensitive, I can't believe it. Yeah, pretty well. I just hit a patch of grass with one wheel and it gave me a cut track. Unbelievable. That's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure you know that patch of grass I mean. You, can, you, can, you really can't avoid it as well when you're pushing. But oh, oh okay. But hey, I kinda called it with the pole time, didn't I? <laughs> Unbelievable how fast this is. Yeah, we're used to that. It's not a hot lot, guys. Oh, come on, don't bin it! Distraction by the... Bin it, distraction by the sum of the chat. My own fault, though. Traffic up ahead now. No. Oh, come on. Uh. Uh, all of, most of our flying laps in, apart from one ruined by spinning cars. Oh, all my flying laps ruined by spinning cars, bar one, which I binned myself. Ugh, got him. Got him. That last lap caught up a slow car and he spun in front of me, even though I was holding off. Never mind. We're still in the top five. Yeah, Van Wall's slow off the line though, because it's so heavy, so... Uh, oh, never it's mind. Still faster, still faster than what, what I did. Oh my goodness. Oh, what happened, Pascal? You got your lap invalidated. Yes, I, uh, I, I, I on my on my on my out lap, I lost connection. Like as soon as I crossed the start finish line to start my hot lap, it said connection lost. All right, mm. great, wonderful. Oh no, it happens all the damn time. Uh, rejoin, do my out lap. Okay, get to my hot lap, and then in the last sector, that one little darn corner, you go through. You go. It's a right, left, right. You go through the right hander, uh, and it it just carries your car wide. I hit that patch of grass with one wheel and instantly gave me a cut track. Ah, oh, unlucky. Unlucky, Alex. Um, uh, Pascal, rather, sorry. Uh, I mean, I would have I would have been some sort of hazard anyway at the front, but... I don't think so. You had the pace. No, no, you had the pace. The thing, the thing is, I have I have such bad FPS. I have to basically drive with mirrors off, and the only thing I... The only way I can tell that someone's behind me is the map and the radar I have. And my spotter. Otherwise, I get like 20 FPS, and that's just undrivable. And I'm still boggled as to how that even is the case, because like three days or four days ago, I could still run with much higher graphic settings, mirrors on, and everything, and everything would be fine, even with those cars. Uh, don't ask me. I don't know. So my PC changed. My, uh, my, my PC is just you know, it's it's. I'll I'll just call it not good. <laughs> right, Jim, Jim, what's the game plan for Team BJ? Uh, I think, I'm, I'm basically, if you and I happen to be on the track racing together, sir, then you've got it in the corners and I've got it in the straight. So um, just 
it's hard to overtake in the corners, but in a braking zone, if you throw it up the inside, so I'm not going to be blocking or anything like that. So um, you're better on the brakes and better in the corners. So once we get to the twisty stuff, if you're behind, don't hesitate to put a move on on, on in a braking zone. Um, well, and... if you can keep Sam off me, and then I'll chase <laughs> after Aaron and Maddie, okay? <laughs> He's ahead of me. He's ahead of me. Um, but you go chasing after Aaron and Maddie. Well done. Uh, front row for you. Um, well done. Um, a nice did qualifying you, did, lap. Did you just say go chasing after Erwin? Did you see what the t what the time was he pulled <laughs> off qualifying? <laughs> yes. 3.6 seconds. Time he's to go not home. slow. There he's not slow. Did he not do a single lap? I'm pretty sure he practices offline for... I mean, he's very good. Why? He can come on a server, turn two laps and be really quick anyway. But I'm pretty sure he practices offline. I don't know. I don't know. But that's... I'm pretty sure he does. We, we, could, sad. We, could be in, we could be in Formula 1 cars, he could jump in a Formula 3 car and still outrun everyone. I mean... Anyway, Aaron got the pole, uh, Maddie got you on the front row joining him, well done. Uh, Barry, uh, taking the start of the second row, Sam, is Sam in chat? No, he's not in chat. Sam Smith doing very well, also in the Valiante, like Aaron in fourth place. How many fifth? Yannick in sixth, have we got Yannick in chat? We have, well done Yannick. Um, yeah. What else have we got? The Coopers. The Coopers in the T45 with Danny Rice in seven. Um, I think Alex. Yeah, Alex is in chat. Hey, Alex. Uh, Alex, do with the Piccolo, the fastest Piccolo in eighth place. Uh, Alex in ninth. And rounding off the top ten is Nathan Miller. And I'm pretty sure Pascal who's in chat would have had a, uh, um, a reasonable or good qualifying time. Um, but unfortunately, his lap was invalidated. So it's like you had about the same amount of luck as I did on... Um, on uh, quali so my end end of my outlap on the first go right at the end i bin it with terminal damage and i was like oh great that's lost me six minutes for nothing go straight back out and then towards the end of my outlap again a spun car which i was slowed down and was moving around but pulled forward as i went past them so i hit them terminal damage then i go out again but i wait for traffic which means i'm only going to get one flying lap anyway and in that flying lap i catch up another driver who I was trying to give space and not pressure in the twisty stuff and make the overtake clean because you know they don't have to let me through. But then they spun in front of me and I couldn't avoid them. Fortunately, fortunately kept it on track. Otherwise, I would have had a no qualifying time maybe at the back of you, Pascal. Nah, no, I mean, on my on my one hot lap, I caught up with a slower car as well, but it was in a slow corner and he went wide, so I could take the inside. That wasn't a problem. It was really just the cut track I, I i curse these automated cut track warnings to all heaven and hell because i i swear I, it's it's basically you're basically taking the racing line there and you get a cut track warning <laughs> i mean ah it is what it is you can only go forward from here <laughs> see you after guys Uh, good luck and have fun. Best of luck. Yeah, good luck. Good luck, everybody. Keep it clean. Keep it fun. It's a race of survival. Let's get to the end. Have fun. I think we're going to go put some extra fuel in to give some stability to the car. Yep, best of luck. And uh, let's take another thing that can happen from back here is just a DNS. And that will hopefully mean that we have some more stability. When it comes when, during the race, as the fuel goes down, the car gets less stable. And we want stability. We don't want to be wagging the tail all over the place. So we're in the van wall and we know that that struggles to get off the line so I'm expecting to lose some places early on uh, the question is can we get uh, get them back um, before it gets too late basically But we're going to go quickly switch auto start on. So we are having uh, auto ignition. There we go. We are having uh, button issues. 
Relax, hit your apexes, and let's bring home a win today. Sinking. I'm, I've got the funniest view right now. It's synchronizing the game, and Sid Kuma's car is just sideways hovering in the ground. Come on, server. Hey, Rob. Come on, server. Here we go. Into gear. Oh, still 20 seconds ago, let's not go into gear. Ah, not a great quality, not a great quality. Happiness by myself and then bad luck, basically. Your brake temperature is spot on. The tires are now at optimum temperature. The caution flag is out. Howdy, and Barry This behind. That's too fast. Sam's coming through. Clear. Sam's in the Valiante, not sure he's in actually. Sounds like a bit like a Valiante, but maybe doesn't look like one. Oh, he's next, he's in the Valiante. Too quick into that though. Thank you. 
245 ahead with Daniel Weiss. It was Barry. But it was Sam. And lost connection again. Wonderful. Oh, I'll slide Pascal. Typical Vodafone.
Shifting. Gentlemen, don't focus.
market crashing. So close to that slope, hay bale, which is very sending if you get hooked up on that. behind Corner too fast into the first bit. Struggled to hold on to it, but we did.
just gifted P2 to Maddie and Barry. Exhausted already. on the penultimate lap. Oh no, money's gone off. Oh, Waddy. Oh, Jesus. That was scary.
Oh, he's making mistakes. Last lap. Oh no! Watch out, yellow flag. Come on, start. Distracted by. Distracted by Sam behind. We got damage. Got to try and keep it going now. On the last lap, can we get it round? My own fault. Oh, that's too fast. Focus, Jim, focus. Get it round, get some points. Struggling to drive the car, we just got to keep it moving. Try and hold on to as many positions as we can. We won't be defending them, that wouldn't be right with damage. People catch up, they will just come past.
Oh, he's quite violently pulling to the right. Got to keep it going now. Pretty much going around this corner whilst I still steer straight. Come through, come through. Hold your line. Clear right. Darn it. We're still in seven now. I think we might be able to hold them to seven. Pressure by Sam paid off. Gutting, we were doing really well. We've been very consistent up to that point. Other people have been making mistakes, but not us. We struggled to get the power down. Come on. And uh, Sam was there to capitalise. Put that pressure on. Slow down. Don't spin. You exceeded the track limit. Oh, come on. It's all pointing the right way, that's good. Come on, hold on to seventh. Come on. It's hardest in this twisty stuff. Do with the car, not wanting to go in a straight line. Gotten, gotten. Looks like Barry might hold on to second though. He'd even managed to avoid Maddie come, come back on the track slow right in front of us after hugging the wall. Very lucky not to sustain damage with Maddie there. On to go now. Fuck me, that was a race. Oh, we're limping over the line with a lot of damage. Sam put some excellent pressure on and I binned it as a result. Well done, guys. Well done. Uh, Maddie, you're off um, in that tree line. Was incredibly lucky um, that you didn't sustain damage there. Yeah, <laughs> just a bit. And you, and you came back on, and nothing wrong with what you did, but you came back on just when I was thinking, oh, I need to start braking. Oh, Maddie's in front of me. Brake! <laughs> so, yeah, it was like, am I going to slow down or am I going to punt you off? But fortunately, I, uh, I managed to avoid you. Good racing, guys. Good racing. Annoyed with myself for binning it under pressure from Sam, excellent pressure from Sam, but uh, we finished it. I don't know, I'm glad I didn't have to do another lap with a car that wouldn't go in a straight line. Uh, you were so slow at the end. Yeah, damage. I couldn't go in a straight line, Yannick. I wasn't defending at all. I just wanted you through. There's no way I could hold you back. So it was just, you know, I was no, just trying to soldier on and, um, and get through. I, I you know. Well, I'm, um, just I'm just happy that I at least saw someone uh, because, uh, you know, I was. All alone for the last four laps. Oh, were you? Oh, were you? It was certain. Good. Alone. I mean, you were 15 seconds ahead, and the rest were 50 seconds behind me. Ah, you well, know. you picked 
uh, you soldiered on and picked up that place. It was fabulous battling with Mar uh, Maddie and uh, Barry yeah. and Sam. Because yeah. um, the difference in the cars was interesting because the Maserati was a good mid-range car. Barry had the one that was great in the corners. Sam had the Power Valiante, and I had the Power Van Wall that was a bloody duck in the corners. It would not go around corners. So I'd pull away on the fast bits, which is kind of the start and the end of the lap, and then the rest of the lap, um, I'd just be in the way of Barry and Maddie until I either made a mistake or they just drove past me in the corners. But that made it yeah. quite interesting. It was interesting. I liked it. Congratulations, yeah. Maddie. You, uh, <laughs> you beat me there. <laughs> yeah. Bit tight. <laughs> Hey, Matty, you also had a really gutsy move there at lap two, you know, on the outside between the two of us, the yeah. two uh, come up. If there's a gap, go for it. Uh, sorry, Barry, but the, I think it was you I hit on lap one. Oh, uh, yeah, the... no worries. Uh, fortunately, uh, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Hope your car was okay. Can't pick up I think the it... just now. This, when I saw you two spin off, I thought, oh, my gosh, you'll be 20, 30 seconds behind, but you must have had quite a good... Um, finish like both finished pointing in the right direction because i think within a lap you were back behind me again they're just like oh those people that spun off oh i thought i'd got rid of them and now they're case snapping at my heels again <laughs> um so um so well done guys well done guys i don't think that's uh, that incident probably made a lot of difference to the race of you so it would have mean you still finished two three battling most of the way so uh, so yeah not too bad yeah i lost a crap ton of time from it as well so uh, we had a, a couple of really close moments with a back marker. I can't remember who oh, that was. Derlon. Yeah, Derlon. I mean, he's, he is, he's slow, but he is. He does try to keep out of the way, but I mean, it's a difficult track. And I mean, at least he kept it consistently bang slap in the middle. But uh, I saw Maddy kind of go, ah! And then I was upon it thinking, which side? Left, right, oh. left, right. <laughs> um, but we all made it through. But I was thinking, Sam was right behind me as well. And I'm thinking, Christ, he might get blindsided. At least I had a sight of it because Maddy, you were three or four seconds ahead. Um, but I saw you taking avoiding action, and I just, I wasn't sure. I thought, oh, he's he going to move one way or the other, but he didn't, he just middle, stayed in the middle. <laughs> yeah. okay. But, um, but he's, he normally does do his best to keep out of the way, does Derlon. So, um, I mean, as much as it was um, a lucky that nobody had an incident, it's not, that's not typical. He wouldn't be, he, he wouldn't normally just be sat in the middle. He'd normally be taking avoiding action. So, uh, so yeah. Good racing, guys. Really enjoyed it. I'm going to go and sort out the scoring. Uh, if you want to do the old uh, time trial and improve on the old time trial, let's quickly go and see what the standings are on that. I think, Maddie, you're still clear out of the top. I was on the server with um, Erwin, who spent a long time trying to beat you, but last time I checked, he hadn't. <laughs> so um, so let's have a look. Offline. Oh, no, he has beaten you. He has beaten you, I'm afraid. Okay. He's, uh, he, he has beaten you now by half a second. So, um, so he's, he, there's, you've got till midnight. You've got an hour and a half. Um, Barry is a good two seconds back, so you're guaranteed second place, I think, Maddie. Um, Barry, yeah, there's quite a few people. Anyway. No, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. But I'll just let you know in case you want to. Um, Barry, you, well, you're not going to improve unless other people get past you, if you see what I mean. I, I am exhausted and I shan't be going on. I need 0.3 or 0.4 to make a difference. And uh, if, if I strung my best sectors together, I, I could easily have 0.5 or 0.6, but I never get one lap. I, usually, what I do is have a good sector one and sector two at monaco that bloody last corner at monaco i always end up locking when i'm pushing i think oh this is a good lap i end up locking my brakes into it which completely ruins the lap on it doesn't it so um so yeah it's a good uh, a good yeah. racing i'll see you later bye now no worries bye just before the rest of you go uh we have to make a decision as to whether we run uh, the extension to the championship, uh, yes. which is an extra two races, an extra one time trial. Uh, basically, it's going to be based on the grids, and the grids are still excellent. So that's another um, basically month of racing uh, if we do it because it's an extra two races, which are two weeks apart. Um, everybody happy? Or any, what do people think? Should we extend it or should we not? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. There's like extra things that are added on there. If we extend it, we also get an extra void event because it's events not races so it goes to three rather than two and that kind of keeps the scaling the same so um so yes so that will be added in i think after look at what the rules say something like after event six or after race six we do the final void race um great i'll go do the scoring guys thank you very much everybody for racing really appreciate it some great fun racing i made it to the end and i thought i couldn't start my engine so uh, so yes good fun hopefully see you uh in two weeks time at the next circuit yes see you there
Right, we've left the old voice chat. So thank you everybody for watching. I'm gutted with myself. I'd say I'm gutted with myself for binning it um, when Sam was um, pressurising me. Um, he did a did a great job of it. It was all 100% my own fault. Um, but uh, but yes, he um, he did a good job. He did a good job, uh, and that's what he was there to do. And it was all all of my own making. It wasn't um, it wasn't um, it wasn't uh, him. Pushing me or touching my car or anything like that it was all of my own making. Uh, Derlon's just uh, soldiering on to the end. Come on, Derlon, you can do it. Just give me some encouragement. I think he's mostly to the end now. That's the end of right. He's nearly at the end, he must have damage and stuff. He's soldiering onto the end, and much respect to Durlon. Yes, it was certainly hair raising when we all caught up uh, with him, um, and he was just in the middle. He was doing his best to just be consistent, I guess, with such a twisty section, it was very hard for him to know which side to go on. Um, and um, so he just stuck in the middle, uh, but at least he was consistent. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, yeah, good fun. Um, loving these 1958s, they're good, just all excellent, and, uh, oh, let's go have a quick look at what the next race is, I can't even remember what the next race is, um, let's see if we can find it, it will be Ruan Les Azard, Ruan Les Azard, that is, um, an interesting circuit, I like that one, thank you everybody, enjoy this evening, and good night.